Well, as Hurricane Barrel, a Category 4 storm, moves through the Caribbean, islands are preparing for the effects of the storm. You can see them boarding up windows there. There are sandbags also that people are lining up, and people in the Barbados capital were actually lining up at gas stations while grocery stores were crowded with shoppers. But Dave, the good news here, though, it's not heading towards South Florida, so it won't impact us here. Right, correct? we'll watch it closely. Uh, right, it continues that westward motion here, and it strengthened rapidly. Rapidly, but that strengthening is uh, leveled off now, but still a powerful category four storm major hurricane and there is Barbados. So it continues to move west drifting north just a bit. That motion is west northwest at 18 miles an hour. So in just about 24 hours, uh, it moves through the windward islands. There it is by tomorrow evening uh, continues that westward motion. Uh, still a major hurricane, but we can slightly as it we should encounter some wind shear through here, but uh, still a major hurricane as it moves near Jamaica. That's by Wednesday. There there it is by the 4th of July, uh, just south of us uh, here in Miami, and then maybe trying to turn to the north as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, there it is by Friday over the Yucatan Peninsula. So the next five days, we'll watch this move to the west here. Warnings in effect for all of the uh, windward islands there. And we have hurricane watches now in effect uh, for Dominican Republic and Haiti there, the southern coast. A new tropical depression, but this one may not last long. Could even become a tropical storm. If that's the case, it would be Chris uh, here with the next name system unless what's in the Atlantic doesn't get there first. This is a high development potential in this area. There's barrel, so it continues to go over that same direction. In fact, a big area of high pressure continues to steer these storms due west. There's the track from barrel, and there are all the forecast models with that newest invest area there in the Atlantic. So everything going directly to the west with that area of high pressure to our north. We had some rain today, 82 hundredths of an inch, 84 kept the temperatures down, but all that rain was pretty heavy, especially this morning right through Broward County here. In fact, the rainfall totals of but the radar estimated about three inches right along 441. Might still see some minor flooding in and around these areas here. A bit farther south, we have the showers that are moving through the Keys now. The temperatures are held down pretty much everywhere into the mid to low 80s. It's about where they will stay tonight. Our upper low, which caused all of this rain today, is finally on the move and moving out. But we still have the showers across the area here today and again tomorrow. Showers and storms might get a more typical pattern Pattern setting up here over the next few days with just scattered storms Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for the fourth. So we might lower the rain chances just a bit with a few showers passing through the area here. Here's what's left of our rain tracker. A few showers could be across the area here overnight tonight, but you'll wake up to some rain as that southeast breeze tries to move everything inland and push it up to our north throughout the day. So we'll see the highest rain chances right in the middle of the day. Atlantic waters as just a light breeze coming in five to ten knots, two foot seas or less light chop in the bays. In the Keys, you'll have an east southeast wind about five to 10 knots with one to two foot seas light chop in those near shore waters. The rip current risks are low. Head to the beaches tomorrow. Just look for a few showers. They'll be around right in the middle of the day. Even a few thunderstorms are possible there. 8 10 noon highest rain chances, but we'll lower the rain chances as everything tries to push off to the interior and up to the north. Diminishing there by 8 to 10 o'clock at night. Extended forecast will have showers and storms around. Temperatures climbing back up to near 90 degrees. A little lower rain chances for the 4th and Friday. Back up to about 40% and 50% Saturday and Sunday with highs near 90.